Yeah, so the aim of the camp is to prepare our under-17 boys team for the Martinique tournament we're going to. The reason we've had a training camp is to really inform the boys on what we're expecting to do both in and out of possession. Um, a lot of the focus on the camp has been tactical work, so what we're doing when we have the ball, what we're doing when we don't have the ball, and transition both in and out of possession. We've done a lot of work on set pieces, so um, this morning we've gone over again the set pieces for attacking corners, defending corners, free kicks, throw-ins, um, and it's a lot of brand new work for a lot of the boys. So speaking to them, a lot of the work that they do at the individual clubs is, is very, very different to what they've been doing on the camp. What we're looking to do is make everything as professional and as up to date with what happens in the rest of the footballing world. So myself and the coaching staff, Coach Brian and Coach Gilbert have worked extremely hard to get across the messages of the national playing philosophy to the boys. Um, we've got a few of the under 15 national team players that have made it, made the progression into this squad. So they were exposed to it last year in December. Um, and they've brought a lot of, lot of experience from that camp with them um, in terms of how we want to play, what's expected of them. There's a lot of work we've done on the professionalism of the, of the environment as well. So how the players conduct themselves, how they speak to one another, how they speak to the coaching staff, how they speak to the support staff, the team manager, the physiotherapist. Um, so it's all in all, it's been a, a great week so far for the boys. Yeah, so in term, terms of our main goal is to com uh, compete against the mainly the French teams. Now, what we need to stress is that the French teams, so Martinique, Guadeloupe, French Guyana, they all have direct funding from the French Football Federation and they work off the Fren French system. This is why from the technical department, we're looking to engage with these countries a lot more because we feel that they're in an, an advanced stage. So from, from the boys' point of view, it's going to be a brand new experience in the amount of tactical aspects that happen in the game. Now it'll be something brand new to a lot of them. Now when we've when they've played some other Caribbean countries previously, a lot of it may be on more individual skill. Um, but in terms of the Martinique tournament it will be to, to really test ourselves and, and have a gauge and see where we are. Now it's very, very obvious that our football infrastructure, especially in youth development, previously will be in a long way behind where it needs to be. We've launched the uh, GFF Scotiabank Academy Training Centres which are looking to really really improve this situation so then when boys do come into the national teams and girls as well that they have a clear understanding of what's expected from their federation technical point of view. Um, in terms of how we're going to do in games we're looking to be very competitive um, and really from, from my point of view as a technical director is to assess what stage we are compared to the other countries. Yeah, there's absolutely massive potential. We've got a lot of very, very good individual players. And that's the key word. They're, they're all at the moment very, very individual. Um, so with a lot of work from the academy training centres and the national camps to focus on the tactical aspects, we're going to, over the next five or six years, see a massive improvement of how our national teams, uh, both male and female, perform. In terms of the raw materials that we've got, it's absolutely outstanding. But we need to really focus on their understanding of the game. So in this camp we have Orville Daniels, who was a national under-15 player, who we've come from the Rupununi. Now, individually, he's got fantastic skill, great flair, can score a variety of goals, um, but it's just building him into a system to understand how we want to play. Um, so that, that's the, the key element that we need to really improve as a country. But in terms of individual and raw material, we've got a great, great amount of players to, to pull from. We just need to make sure that the, the infrastructure is there for these players to uh, thrive and then kick on, whether it's getting contracts abroad, playing in other countries, getting greater exposure. So then when we finally come to the national teams, uh, the Lady Jags and the Golden Jags, that we've got a, a product and a team that we're proud of. We've uh, put together this, this camp primarily to uh, prepare our under-17 boys uh, to go to Martinique uh, to compete against uh, Martinique, uh, French Guiana um, and, and a couple of other countries across there. Uh, we are still trying to develop the ideal model for the camp. Um, we've had the under-15s in December and we pretty much uh, set the bar as to what is expected at camps. Um, this camp has basically followed suit. It has presented some new challenges that we were able to overcome. Um, in terms of the preparation of the boys, the fact that we've had them here together every day, 
um, doing double sessions. They have um, shown tremendous improvements, including the guys from the under 15 who would have made a step up to the under 17. They have shown tremendous aptitude. Uh, the team is playing very well together at the moment, and um, I think you know this this camp has really benefited all those uh, all those who are involved. It's it's fantastic. It's fantastic because um, the GFF, the the technical department, and, and the president has done a great job in terms of providing um, the support staff. Um, Coach Gilbert has been very good. Um, has provided very good support to me, and then obviously the figurehead. The technical director, Mr. Ian Greenwood, who's a, a tremendous guy to work with, has got a tremendous vision for the game. So, you know, me being in the middle there is, is just a fantastic position to be in. And um, I really feel like I'm really contributing to the growth of football in Guyana. Well, I, I, I think finally we're, um, we've got a model that I think that will definitely carry us forward. In the past, um, a lot of stuff was done spontaneous. It was um, haphazard to some extent. Um, we weren't sure on what the direction was, but with the arrival of the TD, he's got um, he's put some long-term plans in place, including the the academy training centres. So now there's a clear understanding of where we want to go. I think what is also new is that he has brought a particular philosophy that he's going to try to impose on you know all national teams. That philosophy has been passed to the under 15. It is now with the under 17s, and I think they have grabbed hold of it very well. And um, pretty soon we should start getting some very positive results in Guyana football. It's, a, it's family because there's like a connection between each and every player in the room, in the, in the camp. We all can play with each other, we all have fun with each other, make jokes, we cry together laugh together, eat together, sleep together, is everything we do together, it's togetherness in the camp and the unity, that's why I think we will go out there and we will do, do good. Being an under 17 national football camp is a good experience because not a lot of people get to be, get to play for a guy now on the 17 national team. Well, learning new techniques, you're learning how to bond with people your peers and different things. We are always gaffing with each other or learning something new. Yeah, everyone is my friend. All of us are one family. It means a lot to the players because, as I told you before, um, coming together just means you come together to have a bond, to share information, and to unite with the, each and every one the coaches as well. So it's a great feeling to be together with the players and coaches. Well, we're looking forward to accomplish each and everything that we worked on in the training sessions. Um, also, we're looking forward to win and make the country proud.